show you guys was this next one, okay? So um, this one is a card kit from Honky Dory. And I have done these, we've had these available as to-go kits in the past, but I haven't really talked too much about them um, when, we, when we get them in stock. So today, I just kind of wanted to go through this because the lady that was in, this is what she had her question about. Because if you're not familiar with these, it isn't as easy necessarily to, you know, know exactly how this works. And every time they do a card kit, this is called a decoupage card kit. Um, every time they do one of these card kits, they're different. So it's not only different designs, but it could be a different style. They might have um, like a stair step card. They might have a waterfall card. They might have all kinds of different ones. So each one is a little bit different, but what they always are is a really, really fun um, foiled design. You've got 3D, you usually have something interactive that goes with them and you get multiples, okay? Well, hi, Renee. Um, so the way that this card, this is called Delightful Birds, and um, the main package is you've got those guys. And I haven't actually even opened this and looked at it. I love this little black duck. Oh, that's pretty. So you've got that one. And then, wait just a minute. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait, is this, is this how many I supposed to have? Where did my thing go? Oh yeah, <laughs> makes 12. I was counting from the other one. I was like, wait, I've lost something. No, so you get, so there's basically two each of three different sheets, okay? You get envelopes in here, which is really nice because this particular set of cards, they come from Hunky Dory in England. And so in England, they have different, you know, size cards that they make. But also you guys, you get these gorgeous bases, all with foil design, okay? These are white on the inside, but I'm gonna actually put one of these together today to show you how easy it is to assemble. Um, okay, I don't even know which one to put together. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got this little green one here. We've got the black duck. We've got the little birdies. Well, they're all birdies, so that is not a helpful. I think I might like this one. I'm not sure why, but I think I like that one, okay? And then, oh, nope, I'm going with the fuzzy owl. I don't know why, but he, he spoke to me. She, he, I don't know, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out one card base, okay? And then I'm going to pull out just this one matching sheet. And then the envelopes, obviously, I can wait for later. But these are inserts for the cards. So let's find the one that is supposed to you don't have to use the same one. I don't have to use the pink one with the owl if I didn't want to, but I'm going to just to make things easy for me. Okay, so these are the things that we need for the card. So first off, I wanna kinda explain how this works. When you open this up, you'll notice that this piece right here is already die cut. So. I'm going to very gently pop this out and I'm gonna pop it front to back. The reason is, is because I wanna make sure especially that this gold ring doesn't have any issues, okay, with the popping out. Now, if you are somebody who really um, is concerned about this, you could take your scissors and snip those little ends. Um, but honestly, if you see here, they are really not, not too big of a deal, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this card and we're gonna try to make it exact. Okay, so when you look at this, you'll notice it's white inside. This spot here on the back, because of the way that the card is printed, this spot is to write your message or something like that. But in here, this is where this guy is gonna go. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, how is gonna be the easiest way to do this? So, <laughs> cause you guys know me, right? And I love things to be perfectly exact. So what if we did, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, do I have any adhesive here on the table? Okay, I don't know. We're just gonna try. All right. So there's a couple ways to line this up. So depending on your personal crafting style, you can put this in place, glue this in place, okay? Center it as best as you can, close this, and then pop this one into the opening, open this, and hope that you centered it. Now, if you look, I'll hold this up. Doing it that way, it's actually not as perfectly centered as I would probably want it. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try this. I'll try it, if it doesn't work, go back to that method, okay? So, I'm gonna take this one and put a little bit of glue on here. Put it just like so so that it is nice and even for how I might want this. Actually, I'm gonna use the house eaves to know what angle this should be. Like that, yeah. So because the owl could be at an angle, I'm gonna use the eaves on the house to make it as even as I think I want it, okay? And then because this is a slightly thinner paper for the inside, I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape to get this on. Well, hi, Diane. Okay. All right. That was a terrible tape job, Brooke. Terrible, terrible, I say. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is the one I'm pulling off, whatever. All right. So next, let me show you. This is this is the engineer in me. You guys have known me for a while now, so you know that um, if there is a hard way to do something, I will probably try to figure it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of pop the owl into the opening, right? And then I'm gonna go back over here and just rotate it till he is nice and straight. Make sure that he's still right in the hole. So as straight as I might want that, and then I'm going to close the card, okay? Now, the owl is perfectly in the aperture, my thing is centered, and this guy is centered. So, all the crafting sides of Brooke are very happy at the moment, uh, because that was quite easy to do. It just was a little bit backwards from how I might normally do it, okay? So next up, I'm gonna just take this tape off here. And there we go. Okay, so now we have our card base ready to rock and roll. What I'm gonna do is take a look at the designs here. now. You have this whole bottom half for the owl, right? The whole bottom half. So what you can do if you find that it is a little confusing as to which one is which, you can actually just take these and cut them to make it a little bit easier for you, okay? All right. So now, what we're gonna do is just a quick, um, stacking of the images. They have given you a ton of images on here. So you have a lot of layers. You can decide how many layers you actually wanna use. And I think for this one, um, I'm gonna use, let me go with, You can use all of them if you want to, um, but I think if we go something like this, 
this will be really, really pretty. So I've grabbed, these are the thin 3D foam squares. So Scrapbook Adhesives has gobs of, well, hi, Charlotte. They have gobs of foam squares to choose from, and we've got them in black and white. I love black because it hides in the shadows of the things that I'm building. Um, but this is a relatively new one from them. We've talked about it before, but maybe just briefly. So this is the thin 3D foam strips, uh, foam squares. Sorry, I keep hoping they'll be in strips, but I don't know. So I'm gonna pop these open. And they're about, let me see, I think, I don't know. Yeah, so these are one millimeter thick which is really great if you want to do quite a few stackings on um, you know, one of these designs. So what I'm going to do is, because we're going to kind of go quick here, so I'm going to just take these and Okay, we're gonna line this one up. This is better from a straight up and down perspective. And it layers up perfectly inside that um, gold ring so that you don't uh, have it catch on the outside. Then I'm just gonna skip a couple. Because I'm using the foam ones or the thin ones, I actually could use more layers but because we're building this on the video, um, I'm going to just be a little bit fast so that you guys get the idea. Okay. 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 And then, so this is our roses. Now, this one, you just kind of have to line it up. Hold on. Got to get lined up here, and oop, there we go, perfect, okay, now we still have gobs, you guys, gobs of options, so I think what we'll do is maybe take the little shed for that, what do you guys think of the owl head, do we want the head, we might, and then maybe one or two more flowers, because the flowers are really pretty. Okay. I don't know actually where a good portion of these go, so we might have to just figure it out. But, okay, so let's get some foam on the back of these. Okay. We also have, in this pack of thin ones, they, they only come in the mixed pack um, so far. So... I've got big ones and little ones, and that does make it easy to put these together because you can just pick the size that works. Oops. And then try not to go rogue with where you put your... Uh, we're going to just move that one a little because I was talking and not paying attention. Okay. So... We've got this one, okay, and <laughs> so cute, okay, oh, this one is a little bit, you got to just get him lined up, and he does actually have, can you see right there, here, there's a little tiny pink part, so that's a really helpful thing to look at when you're trying to line these ones up because there will be some sort of a thing that'll tell you where that part goes and then you can just um, change the angle a little bit to get it to line up perfect with the rest of the image and the outline shapes okay so we've got the roses which it looks like these guys are going to go right here and then i've got the little buildings in the back which are, oop, hold on, okay, 
Okay. Okay. So we've got that. And then we can just decide if we want to do um, any more flowers. So I kind of think, where does this one go? That one goes right there. I like just that little bit more um, that we can get from this. So I'm going to take a little piece, cut it in half, and okay. All right. Okay. So now we have more layers, but you can see. The black hides kind of in the shadows. You really don't see it pop out the side. And even with those layers, because we use those thin ones, you get all the dimension, but you don't have um, you don't have the bulk. So um, I'm just looking for one that goes up here, maybe this one. Okay. So Okay. <laughs> All right. So now when I look at this one, just um, the goal here is try and figure out how this goes together. I think it goes like <laughs> so. Okay. All right. And you guys, that's it. I mean, I could do more layers, but there's not really a need. But what I also love is that we have this little sentiment here. So to keep things nice and easy, I can either take this sentiment and just put it right here. I could put it right here. I could put it on the inside of the card. So you have tons of options as to where you wanna put it. And so just for fun, I'm gonna pick one spot, um, and that's where they put it on the little owl right here. But uh, oddly enough, that was exactly where I was gonna put it too. Okay, so just put it and drop it. Okay, so you guys, that is it so easy. This is phenomenal for crafters of all levels. You can do this with kids. You can do this um, if you are just beginning. And even like our advanced crafters, they're loving these kind of things. So it does come with the envelopes. Wait, I just had them somewhere. Okay. Because they're, you know, a different size. So Keeping it thin means that it's still a little bit thick, but not too thick to mail. Um, okay, so here is the deal with these. With this kit, okay, you're gonna get for um, $15, okay, you're gonna get all three sheets. So you get six different designs, and then you're gonna get all of the card bases that you need. So six different card bases. Okay. Just like that. And then, so we've got six card bases, right? We've got the six different bird toppers, but I also have extras. I could use these on any you know, any other projects I want to. You also will get the six different inserts for the cards and you'll get the six envelopes. So that's 12 cards for $15. That is a really, really good price per kit for decoupage, foil, awesome. If you want two kits, then it is, I believe, 27. So there's a little bit of a savings if you're getting two, 15 if you want one kit, if you want two kits, it's 27. So I did wanna just jump on, I was gonna be quick today, but jump on 
and do a quick how-to on um, this card kit because I think it's pretty fabulous. So, and then what I'll do for the people who um, want the card kit is I will cut this uh, video and then just have the instruction part available for you, okay? So that is the, what did it, what was it called? Delightful Birds card kit. We have the new kitty cat stamps for $2.50. We have the, here I'll pull this back out. It doesn't have the card kit, but we have the Wink of Stella's finally, finally back in. Um, so those guys are $7.50. And then the thing that a lot of people have been waiting for are the six new colors of archival ink. And so the inks bundle is $44, but there are also six matching colors of stickles. This is, I don't know that this is gonna work like I planned it in my head, but so we have Cayenne, Graphite, Mountain Lake, Wine Cellar, Beach Cruiser, and Aubergine. Okay. And then these ones. So for those of you guys that just want the new stickles, currently we have them available as a six pack. They will be available in open stock. It's just our first round here is in a bundle. So it's only $14. Okay. So for the six new stickles, $44 if you just want the inks, but if you want both of them, it is $55, and that is um, got even more savings than the two bundles individually. So, my friends, that's what I have for you today because we, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, because our boxes just walked in right before the video, so we haven't had a chance to go through things, but... Anyways, I will be back tomorrow at 2, and thank you all for joining me, or thank you for watching it on replay. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye.